Hello everyone. Here I am telling you the pathogenesis of rheumatic fever. Rheumatic fever is usually a disease of children. So you can see this is a person. These are the tonsils of the person. The person got tonsillitis or pharyngitis by a bacteria. The name of the bacteria is group A streptococcus bacteria. So what is happening? The body is forming antibodies against the bacteria. These antibodies are coming and removing the bacteria, destroying the bacteria. So the rheumatic fever is not caused by the bacteria. What is the problem? The problem is that whatever antigen present on this bacteria, the similar antigen is present on human five organs. What are the human five organs? The two vitals, brain, heart, skin below the skin it's subcutaneous tissue and below that joints so these are the five organs on which the similar antigen is present so basically these antibodies which are actually formed for the bacteria they will cross react with these five organs causing five diseases in five organs damaging the five organs so the five diseases are in the heart it's carditis in the brain it's chorea in the skin it's erythema marginatum in the subcutaneous tissue it's nodule and in the joints it's migratory polyarthritis the five diseases together known as rheumatic fever so rheumatic fever is not caused by bacteria it's an autoimmune disease and the mechanism is known as molecular mimicry and cross reactivity mm -hmm.